when our uh, plant was designed 30 years ago, when the reservoir was built, it was designed for and built and constructed for four units, and it's a closed loop cycle, which means that the the water within the res reservoir, the intake and discharge, it, it actually it actually circulates within that reservoir and is utilized as an efficient system. Some of the other fa commercial facilities have the, the the cooling towers where you lose a lot of the water through evaporation. It's an advantage to have this reservoir because um, uh, on site here because that, that's one of the, the, the things that says the 7,000 acre reservoir um, you know is, is designed again to to operate with four units so you know we have the infrastructure already in place uh, for the two new units. We have both an in intake and a discharge uh, flow here into, into both the units. The intake similar process to a coal plant or a natural gas plant, uh, but the water the water flow here is used to kind of as a cooling process and then it's discharged back out to the reservoir. It stays within the reservoir, it's recirculated and, and reused again. It goes through an extensive piping system within the plant that actually cools uh, cools the facility as we're as we're generating electricity. Okay. And then and then the water is discharged and it's kind of a constant circular flow. Would operate under the existing contract we have now with LCRA. Uh, we would not have to amend that contract in any way to be able to accommodate the, the extra two new units. Okay. And, and, and in that contract, uh, you guys, STP, is guaranteed how much water over what period of time? Uh, firm water rights a little over 100,000 uh, acre feet per year. Uh, on average, over the past five years, we've used about 37,000 acre feet uh, on an annual basis. Is there a concern about the availability of water to STP, and, and what would you do if, if, you, if you did run low? There's some concern if, if LCRA, as they've, if they've stated, says that we may have a drought of record. Um, I think in the spring of 2010, there may be some cutbacks on firm water rights. If that occurs, we would obviously use whatever we are we are allocated by LCRA, and then in the, the event we had to do it, we could use brackish water. Uh, to run the facility here at STP. We're close enough to the Gulf where we could actually pump that in. We are the final diversion point on the Colorado River, and uh, you know, we can only draw water uh, when the river flow exceeds 300 cubic feet per, per second, mm -hmm. and only draw to a maximum of about 55% of that. And I think right. at the end of the day, water is a critical element, yeah. and both, at the, both at the local, state, and federal level. And you have to look at we all as an essential element, and electricity is an essential commodity, so we have to kind of look at things and, and decide what is the most efficient use of our, of our water, and how do, we, how do we best accommodate that, both from a drinking water standpoint and from a, you know, the other elements we use water for, so I think it's just something we have to take a hard look at, but we're comfortable where we're at, we have an efficient process here in place.